Yeah, the the um, the, the same uh, Antifa people that uh, that that are in Berkeley, uh, they sent groups of people to New Orleans and working with local monument opponents, and some of whom are extremely radical and violent. And you know what started all of this was a lady named Arlene Barnum, who's a black lady from Oklahoma, and she loves her Confederate heritage. And she came because she was quite upset at the Davis statue being threatened for destruction. She has a particular affection for uh, President Davis as the president of the Confederacy. And this this uh, wonderful lady, she's in her 60s, she's an Army veteran. Uh, she came and started a little candlelight vigil. And, and what was amazing about it was it was so against the narrative. We had this multiracial, sort of multicultural a uh, group of people who said, for you know, for various reasons, let's not tear down our history. Let's keep our history. Let's honor the past. And and people started coming. And then what happened was the Antifa people then uh, started assembling as well. And on May Day, there was an attack. And and the pictures, you know, you, you the pictures are iconic. Of uh, you you have these white college students attacking uh, black people in the name of racial tolerance. I mean, it is, it's absolutely Orwellian. You, you can't make this stuff up. It is really, really bizarre. The only racial epithets I heard came from the other side of the barricades, from the, uh, from the, the, the people who want to remove the monuments, hurling racial epithets at the people on, on the other side of the barricades who were in favor of keeping the monuments. It didn't go the other way. Absolutely not. And the media doesn't report this at all. It's 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 absolutely shameful. Both the local media and the New York Times article. I mean, it was just laughable because I was there. I saw everything that happened, and the way they the way they report it is just. You wonder if they were even there at all. Did they just have some boilerplate text and they just fill in with a few buzzwords? Um, but uh, it, it the the behavior of the anti monument people. They were violent. They the, there was a one of them maced a, a woman in a wheelchair. I had a veteran uh, who was really upset. I had to calm him down. Um, he had a U.S. flag burned and thrown in his face. Um, they, they were throwing uh, uh, glass bottles. And the police, for the most part, would not step in until it looked like it was going to become an absolute riot. And, uh, you know, they should have stepped in much sooner. But uh, apparently they were under orders from above to stand down and to just sort of let, the, let this ferment. Uh, and that way then they can turn around and say, you see how violent these monuments are. You see how horrible. Uh, that this what this is. We did not have this kind of hatred and division and violence between factions of people and who have different heritages in the in the city. We didn't have that before this campaign by the mayor.